Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome back to this Bell Farms YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a couple days since I checked in with you. Things are really stringing together. I think we're all really tired and, and uh, worn out, but we don't get a chance to do this very often, so we're, uh, we're taking advantage of it while we have the opportunity. Uh, we've been rolling, 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 rolling for the past about two weeks now. Um, and we've gotten a whole lot done. We got a bunch of ground worked up and we got it um, got it floated down with the land plane so that we could plant it and then Uncle Shane got the drill hooked up and he's gotten uh, a bunch planted. He's planting around about 300 acres a day. Um, so he's just absolutely blowing through this stuff that we've gotten ready. So we're still trying to get uh, the little things here and there done. Get these, you know, fields that are more sporadic ready for him to plant. And he's uh, kind of knocking out the big blocks and then he's gonna come back and pick these spots up. Calling for rain um, and not, well, yeah, tomorrow night, I guess. So uh, we got a lot we wanna try to get done so that we can uh, feel like we got got everything we could done at least so yeah um i'm about to hop on a tractor and land plane here and um, i will check back in with you in a little bit and we'll see how it's going let's go Okay, <laughs> I had a little bit of coffee, so I'm a little better than I was a minute ago. Um, I'm off in the field here. I had to come up the road. This was a field that we didn't get earlier because um, actually the ramp coming into the field had a really bad mud hole in it. Dad did a little work on it to uh, get it where it could dry out a little bit. It's still wet, but I'm going to try to pull some dirt into that and then get this field that I'm in here floated down so that Uncle Shane can, he's just right up the road here, uh, so when he comes by he can just stop in here and plant these few fields and uh, then move on to the next stuff. Looking at the forecast for the next couple days, um, we're talking some mm, pretty serious rain possibly. We're talking like an inch tomorrow, half inch next day, another inch again. Yeah, so enough to put us out of business for a little while so we're wanting to get as absolutely as much done as we can before this rain hits and so we're going to be pushing today and tomorrow and then if it rains i'm going to take a nap nobody can stop me but if it doesn't rain i guess i'm just going to keep on suffering and drinking coffee so this is a float i'm pulling we call them a float i don't know if that's a, a widely accepted term or not um, a land plane or uh, people around here call them a slicker float. There's a couple different types of land plane. Uh, you have land planes that are, uh, some of them are taller, heavier, bigger than these and they, they pull a lot more dirt. They actually do a better job but they're so big and so long that we can't actually get them in some of our uh, tighter fields and hard to, hard to get to ramps and levees and stuff like that. So uh, these floats are 16 feet wide, and I'm not exactly sure how long they are, but they're very long. So um, if you imagine in your car, or not your car, your truck or whatever, um, you're pulling a really long trailer, um, how you have to make wide sweeping turns to get the back wheels of the trailer to follow, um, to follow you like a big truck driver would do. These floats are um, hard to drive in a similar way because they're so long and when you turn the back end also wants to swing around so if you're on the highway um, and, or there's a stop sign and you swing too hard you can really knock some stuff down if you're not careful so uh, it takes a lot of getting used to to drive these down the highway and stuff but I've been doing it since I was little so 
Oh, it was one of the first things I actually started doing as a job driving a tractor was floating. I don't know if it's because nobody else likes it or just because it's a pretty simple job for a, a younger kid because in the field you don't have to pick it up and do all the turning like you do with a plow but anyway um, I was always so nervous to drive them down the highway and now it's just kind of like second nature so anyway they're big long and they have three sets of angle blades that you can probably see some of them the dust is covering some and what happens is you can adjust the height of that depending on how loose the dirt is or what it's looking like but that catches the loose dirt and it runs it back on that first blade and then it runs it through the second one on an angle it runs it through the third one on an angle and it spits the dirt out back there on my left and so um, I will always be turning right in this field so that the blade will spread the dirt instead of trying to pile it up and so uh, you just you just make sure that uh, you're always turning in a basically a circle to the right so that you're spreading it right and then come back at the end and, and trim that up and what that does is it pulls loose dirt into all the holes and imperfections it also busts larger pieces of dirt larger clods in the field it busts them up so that um, and then it busts them up and then it smooths them out so that the planter goes over them better and, and the seed has a better place to sprout and all of that good stuff. So this is a pretty important part of the operation and we don't always get a chance to do it because just lack of tractors and lack of time but this year has worked out good and we have floated a bunch of stuff. We haven't gotten to do that in a very long time. Uh, it's probably the last three or four, maybe even five years, we haven't gotten the chance to just go hard at it for two weeks and really get stuff worked up and floated. So this is going to help make the ground hard in the fall. If the ground does dry up good in the fall like it should after being worked like this, then it will be good and ready to go in, uh, in the next spring. So we won't have to do all this again, hopefully. Uh, so it's a really big deal, it's really important, and we're happy and excited that we're finally getting to do it right. Cross our fingers that we don't get a 16 inch freaking flood again in June, and that this rice will come up pretty and grow, and we'll have a good crop for once. Okay, my rant's over. I'll check back with you later. Okay, people. Hats backwards, being serious business. Still rolling on, it's about lunchtime gonna have something super fancy for lunch today check in the fridge tuna salad yesterday mom made a big lunch it was amazing but I broke my diet so I'm just gonna stick with a good old tuna salad today the packaged tuna salad that way mom doesn't have to bring me anything for lunch and I don't uh, get any fatter hopefully. This feels like 74 acres I think so it's a pretty good size. Enrique's across the way I don't know if you can see him or not. But it's looking good. It's a little cloddy. Probably gonna have to do it. Well we're definitely gonna have to float this one twice but if we float this one twice I do believe Uncle Shane can plant it. He's just right up the road now. Uh, getting some stuff planted that we floated yesterday so um, it's all working out I can't complain okay Ooh, that hair is looking good check that out all right what time is it it's 6 30 been going at it pretty hard today um, Uncle Shane is planting he's actually right over here I'm going to show you he's in the same field me and Enrique are still floating we floated this one uh, this is our third time so we're tired of this field and ready to get out of it but we're not so it is what it is there's a big threat of rain tonight and so we're pushing really hard they finally got the disc fixed Uncle Mark and Dad did and they've got it down uh, what we call Bransford which is um, a hard spot to get dry and it's also a spot that we rutted up terribly and when I say terribly I mean as bad as it gets in the fall we rutted it up so bad I've never seen combines they were doing like this because the back tires were sinking in I was grain carting 
couldn't go out there at all with the grain cart. They had to haul it up to us. We were hauling it out of another field that we could get around. It was bad. So Uncle Mark took the disc down there. Actually, Dad took it down there, and then they switched. And it's actually dry, like dry enough to disc. It doesn't have, or so I'm hearing it doesn't have enough wet spots um, to worry about getting stuck or anything like that. So that's kind of like a huge deal. And so we're going to capitalize on that. And the way I understand it, Uncle Mark's going to try to run all night and get that done. So that is a big deal, something that really needs to be taken care of, that's getting taken care of. And then hopefully, cross our fingers that it doesn't rain too early tomorrow, we might get to float it down with these same floats. So that's a big deal. That's something we're going to try to get done for sure if we can. And that's just... Um, it's just one of those things it's working out right before the rain but you got to push you got to get done what you can because if it rains three inches like there's a big possibility of then um, we're pretty screwed so well not screwed but we're we missed an opportunity that we really could have capitalized on so we're gonna do that um, there's Uncle Shane right there he's planting away he's knocked out a bunch of acres today we're gonna keep knocking these acres out. I'm almost out of fuel, so I gotta go get some fuel, and then we're gonna head to another to another field. Everybody's probably gonna work pretty late, but let me tell you, I can't go all night because I gotta go to bed. But we're gonna try to knock this stuff out where we can get absolutely everything we can planted. And then we're gonna focus on getting the stuff in shape that needs to be in shape. Peace. Okay. Seven fifteen cover that hair up. Um, I'm here to get some fuel at the shop. I'm going to fuel up and then I think we're going to call it a night and uh, start back early in the morning and get some. We kind of changed our plans. They're calling for a lot of rain actually. Like a lot of rain which I don't even want to talk about it. No flood this year. No flood. We're going to just cross our fingers and pray. But we're going to prepare just in case uh, we do get a bunch of rain, and we're going to have it ready where we don't have a problem um, on some fields that we wouldn't have drainage on. We're not going to plant those. We might water seed them with the plane after since they're already worked up and in good shape. So, I'm going to put some fuel in this so it's ready to go in the morning, and then I'm probably going to go home and go to bed, and then we'll start back up tomorrow, and we'll go until we either get everything we can done or it rains. So, like, subscribe, comment this video was probably just a lot of me talking but I'm sitting here all day so peace